Hi everyone, so I'm doing another tag. I don't believe I was tagged by anyone for this particular tag, but I saw Lara do it and I thought, hey, that looks like fun. So it's the Your Life as a Reader, Past, Present and Future. And um, I'll probably have to split this in into sections because my camera and computer are evil, so um, I won't be able to fit it all in. Okay, so question number one in the past section. How old were you when you began to read? Now, I don't know if this means just you began to engage in books so someone else read to you or you yourself began to read independently so probably about four or five I don't know if that's bad or if that's really old and late for, for reading on your own but mum said she was very excited when I began to read on my own so I, I don't know I don't know if I'm if I was slow on the uptake or not um, question number two what is the name of the first novel you ever read first novel we're talking novels, then I guess it would probably be something like one of the first books I read in the Babysitter's Club series, of which I had many, many, many. So I was about eight when I was reading, when I started reading those, seven or eight. Um, but if we're talking about just a book, I know that the first book I read out loud to my mum was Angelina Ballerina. Very good book and TV series, by the way. And I also had, um, when I was little, I owned the Teddy series. I think it's just what it's called, but they were picture books about Teddy and he went on adventures and I used to read those out loud too. And they were pretty darn cool. Um, and that would have been when I was about five or so, I guess. But um, the first novel was Babysitter's Club stuff. To my knowledge, just novel sounds quite um, <laughs> mature, so I'm thinking not picture books, right? Um, question three, what book got you into reading? a lot of the picture books that mum would always read to me. We had tons of golden books. I'm not sure, is that a dealio in the US and the UK and stuff? Um, I know they're very popular in Australia, so we had tons of golden books. We've still kept most of them. And I had my Teddy series, and I had my po my Jolly Postman and his letters books. They were awesome, because you got little letters that you could pull out of envelopes. Friggin' now it was an awesome format, and you got really excited. Um, and certainly once I, once I kicked off on the Babysitter's Club, that was probably the first series I was really engaged in and I was addicted to those and had so, so many titles. So, yeah. Question number four. What is the first memory you have of reading? Again, I'll just, I'll, I'll say that it was certainly my mum reading to me because my sister and I were, um, very, very fond of mum picking stories and reading to us. She had her favourites though too, so <laughs> she'd worm out her favourite titles and be like, you want to read this one tonight, don't you? We're like, no, we want to read this. She's like, shut up, you want to read this title? Because she had her favourites. I know she loved The Three Little Rabbits Go Visiting. and It was a really adorable book, but she <laughs> she's always like every other night, we want to read The Three Little Rabbits, don't we? Don't we? I'm like, okay, Mum. So yeah, she was a bit biased with the, the titles that we pick. But she'd let us have nights where we got to choose the books too. But certainly um, there was a TV show on... Um, on Australian morning TV on weekdays called The Book Place and it was such a beautiful show. It was set in a bookstore and they'd um, they'd just read to you. They'd spend the entire show reading to you but there were talking chairs and trees. I don't know why there was a tree in the store but there was and it talked to you and there was a bookworm and he was a worm and he had an English accent and a bow tie and he'd talk to you as well and yeah it's just all about stories getting read to, to children it was freaking awesome it was one of my favorite shows to watch so I loved that too and I always loved story time on play school and I just yeah I always loved reading and getting read to <sighs> um, and that's what I'd, al I'd always do that um, when I was at uh, preschool and play group and that when everyone else would have nap time because as a child I hated sleeping um, in, in the day especially, but I didn't like sleeping at night either. And so I refused to nap. And so instead they'd let me go in the corner and just read to myself. <laughs> so that's what I that's what I got up to. Um, the present questions are really long, so I'm going to have to do those in a separate video. But I'll see if I can do the future questions in this same video. We're mixing it up and being crazy. Okay, future questions. Question number one. Do you see yourself being involved in a career related to literature? I don't know. I review books, but that's certainly not a career. Um, it is fun, though, to do. Um, I think I have no plans to be a writer. I enjoy writing. Um, 
more so though, I, I guess I've gained more experience now in writing songs and poetry and plays. Um, but I, 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 I certainly do enjoy writing and I've studied, I've studied writing um, at uni and whatnot. But um, uh, I don't know, I mean if I could, I'd like Lara, I would love to work in a bookstore and I'm trying to, I'm going to see if I can apply for some bookstores even though there's hardly any left anymore. Um, to, to get just casual work next year. I'd always love to be connected to books in any which way. Whether or not it can be related to a career, I don't know, because I am still hoping to be a, a working actress, but we'll see how that goes. Um, yeah, but I mean, if, if I could work part-time in a bookstore or, you know, just keep on doing reviews, that, that would always be lovely. Um, certainly books are always going to be a part of my life regardless. Um, do you think ebooks will take over the standard book format? I hope not, and I don't think so. I think that books have lasted as a format for as long as they have because they're endearingly popular and I don't think anything can beat the feeling of a physical book in your hand. And also, you know, you get to have the artwork of the books themselves, so their covers and whatnot. It's not the same to see it on a screen, I don't think. I think ebooks will increase even more in popularity and in and um, availability and whatnot, and more more people will have ebooks probably. But if anything, I think maybe we'll get to a stage where perhaps it's an even amount of ebooks to real books. I don't know, but I don't think we'll ever lose physical books. I certainly hope not because I'm not into the ebook idea. I don't mind that everyone else is, but it's just not for me. So um, I know I will certainly always have bookshelves with books on them. So. Um, question number three. Will you pass reading on to your children? Well, as many people know, I'm very anti-maternal, so I have no plans to have children. Never have had plans to have children. And I know where people always do the condescending bullshit thing where they look down on you and say, oh, you'll change your mind. But my mind's pretty gosh darn made up and always has been, so I won't be having kids. But I have a niece and I'm soon to be having a nephew. And I certainly love reading with, the, with my niece and um, little children that I'm friends with. So, um, I mean, I'm always happy to share my love of reading with, with kids that I know. And I know a lot of kids that really like reading, so that's great, because, you know, on their birthday and Christmas we get to give them books and I get to pick stuff out for them and be like, oh! And when they're older, I go want to be able to share, if I can, books that I really like with them. And I've been able to do that with some of our, our little friends, so it's been lots of fun. But, um, yeah, for myself it won't be my own children, but, um, I think my sister will probably let me try and influence her kids a little bit to want to read. Um, yeah, so we'll see how that goes. But yeah, it's always great to share your love of, of reading with anybody, but children especially it's fun because you get to see it evolve in them and their tastes grow and stuff, so that's cool. Um, yeah, so those are the past and future questions and I'll make a separate video for the present questions and get back to ya.